What's up y'all? I want to welcome y'all back to 80 Cooks and on the menu today is a baked macaroni and cheese recipe. Uh, what we have in front of us is four sets of cheese, actually five. These are combined together. This is mozzarella, provolone, ch uh, mild cheddar cheese, some gouda cheese, and some Kobe Jack cheese. And actually it's five. I forgot about the Velveeta cheese that we're using as our base. Uh, and also we have elbow macaroni. I may show you all how to boil. I may include that in the video, but I've done so many noodle videos. Uh, if I don't add it in, just look at one of my old noodle videos or look at the back of the box. Noodles are easy to cook. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Appreciate you all for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. Okay, into some boiling salt water. We're gonna go ahead and add our noodles in. And I'm using a whole box on this. Wanna make sure you stir around your noodles for maybe about five minutes into this cooks. So we're gonna go ahead and let that boil and uh, get started on our cheese. Okay, we have us a pot of a stick of melted butter in. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and salt our butter a little bit right now. And we're gonna put us a little bit of uh, black pepper in too. And you can add salt to it later. We just wanna start our base. Then we're gonna take us some uh, whipping cream. And that's my phone ringing. Why would it? We're gonna put in a little bit of whipping cream and then we're gonna put in a little bit of whole milk at this point. And we're not putting a lot in right now until we add our cheeses. I can't give you directions on how the consistency of this is until I add my cheese. So we'll start with this base. We'll let this heat up a little bit and then we'll go ahead and start by adding our cheese to this. Okay, at this point, we're gonna start by putting in our Velveeta cheese which they call the liquid gold. That's what they say on the box. Then we're gonna start with a little bit of our cheddar cheese. We're gonna save a little bit to put on top. We're gonna put in our mozzarella and our provolone cheese. We're gonna add in our Kobe Jack cheese. And then we're gonna add in our Gouda. And what we wanna do is bring this to a boil some more to a certain degree to where this cheese melts. And then we'll get an idea of if we need to add more milk to this or if we need to add more cheese to this. But right now I'm gonna let this come to a pretty decent boil on this and let things melt and incorporate together. And that's about it right now, right now y'all. Okay guys, we went ahead and let our cheese melt. And I did not, I don't think I need to add any more milk to this. This is the consistency that I want of my cheese bread. Just to give you an idea. That's how creamy we want that. Okay, at this point, our macaroni, or not our macaroni, but our cheese has cooled down a little bit. Still creamy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our noodles that we had boiling earlier. We drained them. And little by little, we're gonna go add these uh, noodles in. And this is pretty much the consistency of our cheese and noodle ratio that we're looking for. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put this into a pan and get ready to put this in the oven. 
Okay, y'all, we're back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and simply just add our noodles and our cheese into this pan. this out of the way and this is actually a small can of this and what we're going to do is we're going to top, top it with our cheddar cheese There should be enough cheese and what we'll do is let this sit up for about maybe 20 to 30 minutes room temperature just to let things settle and then we'll throw it into a 350 degree oven okay guys so for about 40 to 45 minutes we had this in the oven and uh, everything is done we'll let things cool down for about maybe five ten minutes and then we'll cut into it Okay, let's go ahead and dig into this cheesy monstrosity. Ah, that's mac and cheese, y'all. <laughs> There's a nice little crust on the side of this as well. And uh, we'll leave it like that. Try to fix it up a little bit. And uh, what we're gonna do to top it off with, is we're gonna top it off with a little bit of uh, chives. Not fresh, but they are chives. And there we have it, y'all. Our baked macaroni and cheese. Creamy, cheesy, scrumptious. And I appreciate you all for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. And you know what I say? Peace.